My daughter found these at the Dollar Tree. What? Maybe I got buffaloed. I don't know. Wow, I probably would have walked past this and I love toys. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I am gonna share with you big money March bolos. I posted this in my Facebook group, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not a member, definitely go join. There's a link down below. Um, and I invited everybody in the group to share their best March bolo. So basically they post a screenshot, they tell me where they got it, what they paid for, it and what it sold for and I'm going to bring it to you in video format. This is going to help me learn. It's going to help you learn and we they get to see their bolo on a video. So it's just a super, super fun way to share your bolo. Thank you guys for being here. I'm Courtney. If you're new here, thanks for being here. Let me know how you found the channel down below and we're going to dig right in and we are going to get started. So the first item, it says, hi, Courtney and bolo buddies. My store is Hunt for Treasure. This is my March Bolo. 12 inch blue willow vase. I had it listed for $65.99. I got it for $4.99 at the Goodwill two to three years ago and kept it as home decor. Listed it in October. Sold six months later for a best offer of $45 and the buyer paid shipping to Alaska. Just to let everyone know, a shipping tip, go to Dollar Tree, buy the pool noodles, cut them in half lengthwise to the length and width of the box to help suspend your bubble wrapped package. Mine went to Alaska and did not break. Yay. Thank you, Courtney, for this video. If I am too, le too late for this week's video, maybe you can put it next week's videos. Thank you again, girl. All right, here it is. This is what it looks like. It is a blue willow vase made in China, porcelain ceramic, countryside landscape vintage. Hi, Courtney. I am new to this group and have been following you religiously on YouTube. Great work. I found this item the last day of an estate sale. I got it for less than a dollar and sold on eBay in eight days for full asking price of $59.99. It is a Pampered Chef can opener, retired smooth edge manual left and right hand. And this is what it looks like. And you can see how she shared in the post and you can see her eBay store there. All right. Uh, she said, I am obsessed with the channel. You may have almost convinced me to jump on board the YouTube train. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Bolo for these. Lynn Chase Pieces found this pristine condition bowl for $12 at Goodwill last weekend. Could only find one sold on WorthPoint for $240 in 2020. No other sold or listed on any platform I could find. Listed for $399, sold in 24 hours with buyer all in for $419. Even non-figural -fig single plates in this collection sell for big money. Wow, that is incredible. Check it out. You guys, if you don't have WorthPoint, I'm not going to try to talk you into it because it is pricey, but I am going to say that it is very useful. I have quite a few videos where I actually show you how WorthPoint has paid off for me because I put it off for a long time because I'm cheap. And I'm like, I am not paying that subscription price. Are you kidding me? Like, like no way. And then I talked to my husband and I'm like, this item's on WorthPoint and I really want to look it up. And I looked it up. And when I realized how much more I was going to sell that item for and how selling the items for more because I have more knowledge of what the items are worth is actually going to make me more money, I realized that I should have got worth point a long time ago. <laughs> so, but again, I'm not here to convince you. I do have some videos. Type in Bolo Buddies worth point into the YouTube search bar. Watch those videos and you can decide for yourself if you want to try WorthPoint. There is a referral link down below. If you click on that link, you can check out the different pricing. Um, there's a way to check just solds and there's a way to check like different marks that I think are on jewelry and maybe plates and stuff. 
I don't have the markings one. If you guys use the markings, can someone explain it down below and tell me if you think it's beneficial and worth it? Um, maybe it is something that I should have, but I really just use it to look up sold comps. So um, yeah, check out those WorthPoint videos. But this is an example of somebody using WorthPoint to find out the value of their item because there was absolutely no solds. Almost passed up this little guy for 25 cents. Sold in one day. Found at a local thrift store. It is a rare Build-A-Bear Zombear Buddies 7-inch mini. It's a mini Build-A-Bear. How cute is that? From 2016. Sold it for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. 25 cents and a 50 bucks. I will take that all day long. Now, if you guys don't know about Build-A-Bear, some of them go for big, huge money. And I'm going to tell you a little secret here. I did a video and I compared items that are Build-A-Bear selling on Mercari and selling on eBay. And what I found may surprise you. Those Build-A-Bear are selling for more on Mercari. I don't know if it's because they're not flooded over there, but I also share with you the big money Build-A-Bear to look for. Most Build-A-Bear are bread and butter. I'm going to be completely honest. They're long tail. They're bread and butter. But some of them go for hundreds of dollars. So go check out this video right here. If you're not on Mercari, definitely consider it, especially if you're selling plush. Plush and toys do really, really well on Mercari. I do have a link down below. If you use that link to join, it is a referral link. You're going to get um, $10 to shop when you join with it, an additional $20 to shop when you sell $100 on the platform. And then I also have a Poshmark link down below. It's a referral link as well. So if you buy something on Poshmark, I get a $10 credit to shop. So basically these two platforms, I share it with you guys, you guys get money and then I get money to shop. So we all get money to shop and then I use that money to buy stuff to sell. <laughs> So um, I appreciate it when you guys use my links. Uh, they are down below. Most of my referral links um, offer something to you for using the link. And uh, these are all products that I use for my business. So check out the description. You might see something there that um, interests you. But yeah, if you sell plush, definitely consider Mercari. Just crazy. And I'll try to remember to link that uh, Build-A-Bear video down below. And even if you don't sell plush, watch that Build-A-Bear video because it may change your mind. It may have you digging through the plush bins when you're outsourcing. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I stopped in a local Play-Doh's Closet, which is a chain of stores that sells used good cl condition clothing, shoes, purses that are geared toward teenagers and young adults. I found a perfect condition leather jacket by the brand Straight to not going to say the word for $55, which I resold on eBay two days later for $220. I also bought a pair of Louis Vuitton men's jeans for 55. Wow. I'm still waiting for those to sell. I don't mind paying up if I know the items will turn a decent profit. I'll keep stopping into Play-Dohs every once in a while to see what they have, just passing this along. And thanks, Courtney and Bolo Buddies, for all the tips and info. This group and your videos are so helpful. Courtney, I don't have an eBay store. Okay, and this is what it looks like. On this 2002 Fisher-Price Mattel Learn Through Music System with the Elmo Scavenger Hunt game at Value Village for $5. I looked all over the store for more game discs, but because those sell well too. I listed for $80 and took a best offer of $65. Wow, I probably would have walked past this and I love toys, but it seems like the baby toys don't do very well. So this kind of looks like a younger baby toy. I don't know if I would have grabbed it. So I love this one. This is what it looks like. 2002 Fisher Price Mattel Learn Through Music System and Elmo Scavenger Hunt Game. $65. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. I would have walked right past it, I bet. I picked this really cool looking vase up at the Goodwill for $7, threw it on auction, and bam, sold. I love picking up odd items. Sold for $202 plus shipping. Nice sale. It is a Japanese mid-century Ikebana black vase. I don't know if I said that right, but sounded good, right? I acted like it. I acted like I knew what I was saying. Should I just do that? Should I just pretend like I know what I'm saying? <laughs> just be confident. 
I found these at a huge thrift store in a bag for $10 in Charleston, South Carolina. There are 31 total, and I was so surprised to see that these toys, the size of a AA battery, sell for $10 or more a piece. I just sold three of them within four days of listing, two for 18 and one for 16. She is correct. These are a bolo. Are they a huge money bolo? No, but they are a bread and butter that sells quickly. And um, I have sold these in the past. Some go for more than others. Definitely look them up. They are Power Rangers Dino Supercharge Select Your Chargers Rare USA Virgins, Version Bandai. So what she did is she created a multi-variation listing and that is how she's selling them. And this is what the listing looks like. Uh, let's see. She said, I also sold a large lot of littlest pet shop toys for a best offer of 250 plus international shipping. Got them at an estate sale for $35. Not sure if I can post two bolos. Yes, you can post two bolos. Check it out. Wow. It's a tackle box full of 125 animals. I will tell you, little pet shop can be, um, there are fakes. And the reason I know that is because I went and I listed a whole bunch of them individually and somebody reached out to me and they're like, that one's fake. That one's fake. That one's fake. So um, I messaged them privately and they told me to send them pictures and they told me things to look for um, like around the neck and just different things to know if they're real or fake. Now, here's the deal. Do I think she was being honest? I do. Do I think that sometimes you will get those messages from people to try to throw you off so that you unlist your items? I do. So I don't know. I don't know if mine were actually fake or not. I picked them up at a garage sale. I am by no means a Littlest Pet Shop um, collector or is it something I specialize in? So I just took them down. Um Maybe I got buffaloed. I don't know. So the ones that she did tell me were authentic, I did list those. And I just went ahead and I trusted her. So do you think I should have? Or do you think I should have just kept them listed? Let me know down in the comments. She seemed like she was trying to help. This one comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. This is her YouTube channel. She has a non-profit farm. They have over 500 animals, rescue animals at that. Um, it is kind of like a petting area. So they have people come in. I think they have like a bed and breakfast, but it's all nonprofit. And they used their eBay store for that nonprofit. So if you buy anything from their eBay store, it goes towards their cause for the animals. That will be linked down below. Definitely check out her YouTube channel and her eBay store. And she is just as sweet as can be and just a great cause. Pick this up at a live auction. Last item on the crowded table. Handler picked it up and asked, does anyone want this? I said, I'll give you $2. Auctioneer said, sold. I listed it for $350 and took a best offer of $250. Live auctions have the best deals for resellers. It's an antique 15 inch frosted white peach floral iris glass shade ceiling light fixture. And this is what it looks like. Bought this Lennox Spice Village placemats and napkins at a factory outlet store for 20 in the early 90s. Looking for comps, found many solds of the porcelain spice jars, but no linens. Google had never heard of these. So the Spice Village porcelain collectors showed up for this auction. Thanks to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I knew not to list it, buy it now. Winning bidder was all in for $303 plus shipping. It, it or I'm sorry, 303 all in. So it looks like it sold for 273 plus shipping. Lennox Spice Village placemats and napkins, eight piece set made in the USA, vintage 90s. Yes, if you cannot find your item listed anywhere, I always say start it on auction, start it at what you want to sell it for. So if that's $99, start your auction at $99. Worst case, you don't sell it. You put it on a buy it now. Best case scenario, you get a bidding war like this and your item goes for big money. This next item comes from PNW Flips. This is her YouTube channel and her eBay store name. Sold on Poshmark for full asking. Found these at the Goodwill bins. So like a dollar or two. Sold for $50. They are Doc Martens women's patent leather, looks like shoes, right here. All right, that was a Poshmark sale. That's awesome. 
I saw a curb alert post on Craigslist one morning. I couldn't make it there until late afternoon, but still found these in a box wrapped up in old newspaper. Free to me. Ran an auction on eBay, had an offer of $130, but let the auction run and ended up selling them for $149.99 plus shipping. And I don't have the, oh, here it is. Baltimore and Ohio B&O Railroad, ooh, Scamels, La Lamberton, China Butter, Butter Pat Dishes Set. That was a mouthful and I probably said it all wrong, but this is what it looks like. I dread posting clothing, clothes, so I don't pick them up too often. Bought this last summer at a yard sale and have about $2 in it. Listed late February and sold for best offer last night from a buyer with no feedback, but had auto payment set up. Dale of Norway, U.S. Olympic small medium blue snow fair aisle zip cardigan. And this is what it looks like. And we're going to do one more here. Ford Mustang Open Roads brand coffee mug. I sold one in December and one the 1st of March. I still have seven left. My daughter found these at the Dollar Tree. What? Found them at the Dollar Tree and showed them to me. She definitely has a good eye. I went ahead and bought all the store had on the shelf. Wow. The cashier herself said they were surprised they got in such nice mugs. Each mug cost $1.34 after sales tax. Bread and butter. Bread and butter, but it fills the belly. Definitely a bolo. Ford Mustang coffee cup mug, 16 ounce. Patriotic Pony Badge Collectors Enthusiasts New at Tags, $19.99. And I think the buyer paid shipping. So not bad for a Dollar Tree flip, right? Um, let me know down in the comments, what is your best Dollar Store Dollar Tree flip? Um, I know a lot of people source from the Dollar Tree. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have bought and sold from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So um, what I did want to tell you guys is if you are not a Bolo Buddies member, you can share in a format. Um, so level two gets you a shout out. If you're, uh, if you join you, my YouTube channel, <laughs> let me start over here. <clears throat> if you join my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, at level two, you are going to get a shout out in this video. That means I am going to pop up your eBay store or your YouTube channel, and I'm going to link it down below in the description. Now, with that being said, it is free to share a bolo. If you want your store to be shown, let me give you a little tip, okay? If you click on the app and you go to your sold listing and you click on it once, and then you click on it twice, and you click on it the third time, the third picture should look like this and it should show your store. See how you can see my store right there? So if you're not a Bolo Buddies member, um, that will at least show your store. Now, you're not gonna get mentioned and it's not gonna be down in the description, but this is a great way to just kind of advertise your store. Um, just a little Bolo Buddies tip there. All right, so level two, um, it's $4.99 a month. That will get you the pop-up and the link in the description if you're interested. No pressure to join memberships, you guys. Those perks are for you. If you want to do it, awesome. If you don't, no worries. My channel is completely free. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which bolo was your favorite. Head over to the Facebook group and join and share a bolo for April. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching.